Before starting ZZ, I noticed online that this series gets a lot of negative feedback. Fans who were outraged to see their favorite characters turn into parodies of themselves. The viewers wanted something more brutal and darker than Zeta and were horrified to see Bright chasing chickens around like a maniac and Gundam fights involving boxing and goofy bonking sound effects. The serious tone went out with serious tone went out the window and at many times felt like the Looney Tunes writers were advising Tomino. Despite all that, I was able to appreciate this new, bold, and risky approach. It wasn't supposed to be taken so seriously, and yet people got angry because Gu Gundam had been very serious up to this point. The first part of ZZ is comedic, until it decides to crush you later when it starts to get serious. Songs from Zeta started to reappear, and death followed. After a beautiful ending, I felt assured that this continues the glory of this timeline in Gundam history. The comedic approach takes the series and makes it into a parody of itself for the most part. It felt as if the writers were making fun of it and pointing this out when Bright sees his command center turn into a daycare center and he wonders what is going on as his crew fools around immaturely. I had a theory in the beginning that the war broke the characters' minds and resulted in the type of humor it approached and with how ridiculous Bright and the others were acting. At the front and center is Judo, an optimistic junker who finds himself in the Zeta Gundam after trying to steal it and gets dragged into, the Hama into Haman's war. The two become rivals and maybe she fell close to him, but their ambitions clearly don't match up and they have to fight. Judo had never known war and he becomes frustrated with the warmongering of the adults, their cowardice, and the needless deaths he has to witness. Judo is a strong person who brings a, la a light-hearted spirit to ZZ, but he has to suffer and this series tells how painful his life has to become during his struggle. On the brighter side, his character is very different from Amuro and Camille. Unlike the others, he isn't a punching bag and even those like Mr. Wong can't control him. I enjoy his rebellious personality that is much more rational and free-spirited. Puru is another great character that adds charm to the series. The dynamic between her and Judo is great until the writing turns it into a disaster. ZZ introduces a large cast of new characters to replace the previous crew. Of the older characters, Bright appears as the most consistent one. As harsh and unforgiving as he is, it's necessary to tame the type of wild spirits he has to deal with as a captain. They did fix one of Zeta's shameless mistakes of leaving important characters in the background with no lines. Once the story gains more intensity, it will feel like Zeta all over again. The new music for this is amusing because it is set to the tone of the comedy, but overall feels weaker than Zeta's soundtrack. The animation is as consistent as Zeta was, and it's refreshing to see after watching all this CGI madness from last year's seasonal anime. You can say it's limited to its time. Despite that, there's no denying the great effort put to detail in expressions, body language, and Gundam fights. It may be old, but the effort is there. That makes it feel more natural than a lot of the soulless anime that is made even today. My biggest complaint for this is a very specific character death that was handled terribly. After the fact, it was as if nothing had happened and the person felt forgotten for the most part. It was almost as if nobody cared. There are some odd deaths, such as, such as a person dying because a large rock fell next to them, confusing the viewers. Also, some characters just disappear and are never seen again. The animation, though, is overall good, is overall good but does take some embarrassing shortcuts, such as the infamous stomping mobile suit. There is also the obscene topic of Bright's potential adultery. After the series becomes serious, it went back to its goofy comedic approach near the end, which felt unnecessary. The new type powers, of course, continue to evolve. Some viewers are on the fence about this because of how silly it can look. When Gundam, Gundams begin having force fields and demonic spirits start coming out of, the, out of the new types. There are some characters like Mashimir who are embarrassing as villains but hilarious to watch. Some characters suffer what feels almost like complete personality changes that I tried to understand but still felt odd. If you came here for Shar and Amuro, you will be disappointed, regardless of the fact that they are in the opening sequence. Still, the cast is large and likable enough to be able to go on without them, at least for now. By the end, all the characters become great after their goofy beginnings in their early episodes. Camille is here and has suffered a tragic fate as was revealed at the end of Zeta. The center of the story involves the re-emergence of the Xeon. The Zabi family is trying to make a comeback after the fall of the Titans in Zeta. Led by Haman, they try to seize space and trigger a new war. The Earth Federation, of course, are slimy cowards who are more concerned with their own safety, comfort, and luxuries. Judo sees this cowardice and calls it out. The tragedy of Haman is that she could have been one to unify space instead of doing this. Somewhere in the past, 
She was associated with Shar, and the two are similar in that they have strong ambitions coming as Zeon soldiers, but have some kind of ul ulterior motive in the background that isn't well-meaning. After some Tom and Jerry tier gunfights, endless jokes, and slapstick comedy, ZZ does begin to horrify the viewers once the story begins to show its more brutal side. The deaths here felt more impactful than in the original in Zeta. Some of them actually upset me, and that had not happened before. This is because of the comedic approach. It softened up the viewers in an, in an almost deceitful way. I felt trick. The lighthearted comedy and character development made some characters' deaths even more brutal to watch. By the end, I felt satisfied with what ZZ had to offer. It deserves more praise and less misunderstanding. By the end, the struggle reaches a new phase, but a red comet is on its way. 100 out of 100. Thank you for listening.